Hi, in this video we're going to do more file writing with Java. In the previous videos we were saving strings to a file. The difference in this video is I'm going to show you how to write a class to a file and split up the properties of the class so that later you can parse them out and uh, re-import them into your project. So let's start with this uh, program that we have in front of us here and I'm going to refactor it. So the first thing is to comment out these famous sayings or you could delete them. Next I'm going to do is create some objects called cars and then try to print those to the file. So first of all, if we're going to print an object, we need to define it. So let's go into our source folder and create a new class. So it seems like car works pretty well, so I'm going to use car and choose finish. So the first thing I want to do in my car class is give it some properties. So I want to use an integer, some strings, another integer, and a double. So we'll use year, make, model, and odometer, and engine size. So since I don't like to type, I'm going to use the source option here and generate the getters and setters and then create the constructor. So now you can see I have my car class complete. I have all the properties in a constructor as well as getters and setters. So I'm going to close car. So the first car I will create is a Ford Mustang 2019 and I'll give it a 5.8 liter engine. So you notice I put the D after the number for 5.8, so let's say it tells the computer it's a double. So I'm going to continue on. I'll make a Chevy Camaro, and then I'll make a Ford Probe, and then a Ford Focus. And I'll give them their engine sizes and make up some numbers. So I'm next going to define an array. So let's call it uh, type car and the name is cars array and I'll set the limit to be four items. Next I will place each of the cars into the array. So car one goes into slot zero up to car um, four goes into slot three. And so the cars array is ready to go. Next I'm going to create a loop. And so I want to go through each item in the cars array. So the for loop goes from zero to the length of the cars array. So the next item is I'm going to create an output text variable. It's a string and I'm going to concatenate every property of the car. And uh, I'm going to put the pipe character in between them. So the pipe character is on your keyboard right above the return key. It's a vertical line. It's useful because it hardly ever occurs in normal English and we're going to use it later to split up these lines and interpret an input file. So using this as a de delimiter is a great way to separate the fields of every object. So the next statement that I'm going to create is save to file. And remember the uh, properties of save to file include first of all the file name. So I'll call it cars list. Then the next item is the string we're going to output. And so we've created this uh, string that's been concatenated called output text. And then finally the uh, property for append. And so I want it to append and I'll set it to true. So now we have a car class, an array, and we are saving it to a file. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to run my program. So no errors occurred and I'm looking for a file name here. So let's do a right click on our project folder, refresh, and we should see cars list. So in cars list, you can see that each car is on a line and each property is separated by the pipe character. So that successfully saved a list of classes to a file. Now we'll be able to use this in a future video where we can interpret that by splitting up each of the lines.